What's up guys, my name is Sav. I hope you all are having an amazing beautiful day out there. Well today guys, I will be showing you that how you can actually install Android P on almost any Android device out there. Now guys, the good thing about this method is that you won't have to flash any sort of custom ROM for that. Uh, we will be installing Android 9 on our Android devices uh, through the installation of certain APKs. I know it sounds pretty damn amazing, so yeah, let's not waste any time and get straight into the video. <laughs> So guys, first of all, I would like to talk about the newly revamped launcher from Android Pay because I know you guys might have gotten bored of your stock launcher. So talking about this Google launcher, well, there is a lot of stuff that has changed inside of it. Like the Google No Search bar used to be on top, but now it's on bottom as you can see here. And the way of getting inside of the app drawer has also changed. So for that guys, you have to swipe up from the home screen and this way you can get inside of it. And the performance of this launcher is pretty good. As you can see here, the scrolling is really, really nice. And you can also customize this launcher by long pressing on the home screen. Uh, so this way you will get some options in the bottom. Now guys, talking about the installation of uh, this launcher, well, it's pretty simple. All you have to do is to go down in the description of this video and there you will find the download link for this launcher. So uh, download it, install it on your Android device with the unknown sources enabled and you're pretty much good to go. Alright guys, now I would like to talk about the second thing of the list and that is the always on display from Android P. Well guys, if you don't know about this feature it actually displays date and time along with uh, notifications and some other good stuff on your phone's screen when your phone is actually locked so let me just quickly lock my phone uh, now here guys you can see there is a very beautiful digital clock being displayed here and by default on Android P this feature is enabled and guys getting this uh, feature is not really hard at all uh, so for that guys you have to download one application that is called always on AMOLED I have given the download link for this application as well in the description of this video so you can uh, download it uh, from there and you can also change the clock style by getting inside of appearance tab and here you will find customize watch face so go ahead and tap on that and here you have to select clock style and here you will find a bunch of different clock styles now two of uh, the clock styles are actually free at the moment and uh, the others are actually available for pro version only but I'm, I'm pretty satisfied with uh, these two uh, clock styles so yeah choose the one which you like and yeah I hope you guys will really like this feature so guys in Android P when you will change the volume you will actually find the volume slider window being displaced with a new layout uh, like what I am having here so to get this thing on your Android device you have to make use of an application called Android P Volume Slider and guys here you can also uh, make some customization uh, to the window of your volume slider really easily so let me just quickly decrease the opacity of the window here so now the opacity has been decreased quite a lot and now if I uh, change my volume you can see here that the window no longer looks that opaque so let me just quickly reset the opacity here and guys there is one thing that I have liked a lot um, about uh, this application and that is in the notification panel you can easily uh, change the volume for different tasks alright guys right now I'm gonna be showing you that how you can have iOS 11 installed on your Android device really easily <laughs> but anyhow uh, all jokes aside guys I'm gonna be showing you right now that how you can actually have this notch on your Android uh, installed really easily. I'm showing you this thing because in Android P there is uh, actually a support for those devices uh, which are coming with Notch. So to get this Notch you have to download an application called Notch Phone X and through this application you can not only get the Notch but also the round uh, corners uh, as you can see here and you can also change the settings for these things uh, here really easily so let me just widen up the Notch here so a pretty user uh, friendly uh, UI here. Next up guys, I would like to talk about the screenshot editor tool called Markup, uh, which actually comes with Android P. Now, how you can actually use that on your device? Well, in order to use that, you have to first of all install uh, the app itself on your Android device. And then you have to take uh, the screenshot on your Android phone. Uh, once you have taken the screenshot, uh, go in the notification panel uh, expand the previewed picture of your screenshot and then tap on share now here you have to select markup now here guys uh, you can easily customize your screenshot you can write the different colors you can crop your image so a pretty basic and simple tool but yet very really uh, utilitarian and guys I have also given 
the download link to all the wallpapers and ringtones from Android P so you can get them uh, from the description really easily. So there you have it guys this sums up the entire video hope you all enjoyed and by the way guys if you want to root your Android device go ahead and click this annotation right here and that's gonna take you to that video. So yeah guys if you have any queries do let me know in the comments below uh, I'll surely try my best to answer your queries and see you guys next time. Oh, 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 oh,